Hello, and welcome to the show. We are back on BeamNG Drive today, going to be taking a look at a really rather cool mod slash scenario pack. So this one is all about gravity and playing around with gravity. Now, it has had... There's been gravity settings on Beam for quite some time. I remember playing around with a moon map a very long time ago. However, this takes it to a... Is it a little bit of an extreme, perhaps? Uh, with some interesting challenges, shall we say. Now, I am going to... We're going to start off with... And I have done some of these because I've been having a lot of issues with all get, um, Audacity and OBS crashing on me. I, don't, I wish I knew why. Uh, not that one. That one's not... Oh, that one's okay. <coughs> there's, just, there's a good level... Oh, bloody hell, I want to show. To start off with this one here. It's... Uh, Pretty, pretty damn cool. So, the idea is you go from, well, either point A to point B, or it is a lap race, can be either, and you've got to try and, well, survive, because along the route are planets and stars that have their own gravitational field. Some of them move, some of them are static, and they will pull your vehicle around. They might lift it up, they might force it into the ground, they might force it off the road, they might pull it left and right and so on. And this, the van is a great example because this gets affected quite easily by all the nasty gravitational fields. When you've got the supercars, there are times when you are just going... Let's say you're going too quick. You can go fast enough that it doesn't quite manage to catch you in the same way. Whereas with the van, that's never really an option. Also, if you are ever in the air for whatever reason, there are jumps and so on, that will affect the vehicle a lot more than when the vehicle's on the ground. It will change direction for the vehicle and all of that sort of nasty stuff. Now, there are, around the maps, uh, there are collectibles, there are keys as well for some shortcuts because you are timed through here. Uh, you've got to try and beat a, a time goal. Now, this planet here is going to do some nasty things. Now, I kind of want to go left a little bit. I want to go left a little bit, but not so much that we get pulled off the edge of the map because I want to go get the key. Oh, I thought I could dink that and I haven't. Gears, reverse... Uh, now, I'd, I'd rather do this than, well, get fired off the map. There is a reset button, but it doesn't just restart the entire scenario. Uh, you can restart at the last checkpoint. You actually see how much the van is leaning when it's being pulled along there. Uh, and as you might have perhaps figured out, the uh, strengths of the, the gravitational fields depends on, how, of course, how close you are to the planet. Uh, they've all got sort of three radiuses. And the first one generally isn't too bad depending on what you are working with. The second one is pretty difficult to deal with, and the third one, unless you are going very, very fast and happen to be able to ping yourself out of it uh, quickly, you're probably going to have a crash, slash get flung off the map. Basically, it's going to be trouble if you hit that. And in the van, I fear, if we really clipped any of that for any length of the time, I'm pretty sure we'd be done for. I'm pretty sure the van won't survive a trip through the very, very strong... Uh, gravitational fields will have to... Uh, I say I have to wait see. This map, again, it's a... Well... It's, it's an interesting one. It's a decent difficulty one. Now we can... Oh, I forgot to go up the gears because I started going down the hill. I wasn't paying attention. My computer's actually quite quiet. I've been having a lot of sound issues. Can I coast my way to the next checkpoint? I might be able to here. Come on, Van. Come on, Van. I can cheat. Oh, no. I can get the key. I actually probably should put it in neutral, shouldn't I? Well, I left it in gear. No, that's not going to work, so we'll just reset the truck. Yeah, I wasn't paying any attention to what I was doing with the bloody gearbox. Um, so I used to like driving the race cars on here. Let's just stick you up in fifth, and that'll be fine. Uh, this is a very, very steep drop all of a sudden. However, because there's a planet beneath it, it kind of keeps the truck stuck on the road, which is quite helpful. Uh, now, I'm going to try... We're going to go for a scoot along here, slam on the brakes. Okay, we don't actually have to go too close to that. And here we go. We'll get the key, we'll get the next uh, shortcut. And there was a collectible behind here, but we have now... Uh, I have now got that on a previous run through this. There's a gear in there somewhere. Because what well, always fun you get with beam and sort of custom game modes is you still have to deal with the beam damage model. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, so even like this is kind of a, I guess you could say a driving puzzle game in some regards. you still got to deal with the beam physics engine. you still got to deal with the damage that will go onto the vehicles. Uh, you might fall over like that. Uh, can we get ourselves upright? 
Uh, we might be able to if I lock all the diffs, actually. There we go. Now, Van, can you do the monster truck dance? Yes, you can do the monster truck dance. Fantastic stuff. I'm going to go for reverse J-turn rather than try and play around with that planet. Here we go. Everything is fine. And uh, that sign means, I think, strong gravitational field? Or does that mean moving? It, there's... Actually, I think that might just mean there's a moving planet we have to deal with. This is not too terrible as far as obstacles go. Uh, you could just I think we are, thankfully, far enough away over here. If I just go up towards the wall, we're fine. Yeah, wouldn't, no problem there. Uh, but yes, you have to still deal with the beam damage model, which means you can blow the engine up if you're not paying attention. If you get your vehicle flung at a wall, you can break a wheel. You can snap a wheel off. You can have to try and limp your way around to the next checkpoint with three wheels. I have done that, in fact, on one of the earlier levels. Just mistime something, and yeah, you get flung at the wall. We are going to reach here at about a perfect time, I think, because we can scoot along past here while the planet is all over the other side. That's no problem at all. Oh, and now we just have to crab a little bit. Crab a little bit. If we can get... As long as we don't go too slow, I think we can beat gravity? That's definitely how it works. We are... <laughs> Van power is better than gravity power. You can, of course, use the uh, gravity fields to help turn, or gravitational fields, which would probably be the technical term, help turn your vehicle, because, of course, when it's being pulled left, it actually turns left a much, much easier, much better, so you could potentially carry more speed in corners that you might not otherwise have been able to do. So, there we go, we complete it. I actually did complete it within the time, which is good. Um, we only did one reset. It's not too, not too bad. And if you complete it in the time, you get the collectibles, you do it in a minimal amount of resets, uh, that's how you unlock more of the levels. Now, we are going to head to one of the tougher levels. So, difficulty-wise, you have the green levels that are straightforward. They're not too much trouble. Okay, they're not too terrible. They just kind of introduce you to the basics. There is a tutorial as well to go through, but they just introduce you to the basics. Uh, this car has a B. I actually think the gravity setting in this hub world might be a bit weird, because the cars slow down very funky and don't really have much grip around here, which suggests it's probably a little lower than normal. Uh, let's go to... Let's be brave, shall we? <laughs> might be a bad decision. These can be pretty mean. The... Expert levels. I have done one of them. I don't think I got it within the time limit or the reset limit. I did get the collectibles, which is something, but yeah, these can be very, very mean. Ooh, okay. We've got moving planets, we've got wiggly roads, we've got all sorts of stuff. Oh, and you've not given me a nice vehicle, have you? Uh, I wasn't aware this one was going to give me a truck, otherwise, I wouldn't have bothered fighting with the uh, van, but never mind. So, this, I mean, this is quicker than the van. However, you've still got the same. Lots of suspension lean will probably get pulled around by a planet if a planet comes whizzing past. You do say some weird sentences, I will give it that. You do say some weird sentences here. Oh god, I don't know where the planet is, I'm just going to go for the jump and hope. Uh-oh. We've twisted in the air, and now a front-wheel drive only van. Ooh! Okay, so we need to be going at the right sort of speed. That's... unnecessary. Uh, <laughs> that's... That's quite mean, really. Oh, there's a planet above us. We are going to get fired off the map, you little bugger. You know what? I'm just going to go for a full restart. We can try again. Um, can we beat that? No, I don't think, actually think we can. You know what? I'm going to let you go. I think we'll just get knocked off anyway here. No, we don't. Okay, that's helpful to know. Probably, I probably should have got going quicker. don't really know how fast that planet's going. Can we just use... No, I can't just use... I'm going to try and dip slightly into the field and get myself turned, but uh, was it going to be... Where is the planet? The planet's over the other side at the moment. So we definitely don't want to be flat up here. Maybe we want to go about 70-ish across. That's still too fast. Uh, just as, long as, we don't, as long as we can get to this next checkpoint, I'll be mostly happy. Oh! God, we needed a lot more speed than that there, but we have got to the next checkpoint. I've lost all steering. Checkpoint has been done. Now, don't don't instinctively go to press the normal reset button for a scenario slash car, because that restarts the whole thing, uh, rather than just placing you back at that checkpoint that you've just done. Uh, this is a really nasty bit of... This is a nasty bit of hill to be climbing regardless of gravity. 
Oh, I'm actually struggling to now make the corner here. Okay, we should have been way higher up. Bugger. Okay, that's fine. We're learning. We're, we're, we're learning. I've got to be a lot higher up on that part. Sometimes I seem to get dropped back down with a slightly broken vehicle when you reset. Uh, it will fix, like, mechanical damage, certainly, but sometimes it does seem to uh, just want to reset you with a lot of broken bits. How the hell do I keep my truck up there? We just slide down. Uh, I don't think... So. I think always faster is the way we're going to have to go with this. We would need a little bit more speed to try and keep the truck upright. Do we have to crab at a much bigger angle? Do I have to kind of diagonally take this? Do we have to go all the way up to the very top of the course? There, we are just spinning the wheels. I genuinely don't have a bloody clue. Um... Right. Hmm. How do we do... Again, this is not playing around with gravity, really. This is just being beaten by the map. What if I was to really try and run the truck up the top here? There we go. No. Oh. Okay. Might just work if we can unlock the brakes long enough. Ho, ho, ho. That's a tough bit of driving regardless of anything else. We've made a checkpoint. There is... Oh, God. So there's a spinny thing there. We can kind of shoot through the gap through the middle. I want the key. Oh, no, oh, we're off, and we're not going to find a nice place to sit, are we? Damn and blast. We're definitely not making it uh, all that far on, uh, all that well on this one so far. Right, so that's going to go past. That has a little effect. Quickly grab the key, bail out over that way, and that's, that's what we need to do. We need to just get as far away from that centre one as possible, because that's messing around with my truck. Ooh. And there we go. I'm going to go on the brakes. I don't know where we're going here. Uh, it's fairly... I say it can be fairly kind. It can be fairly nice at times with stuff. Sometimes it's not. Like, there's plenty of runoff area here, and I have used all of it. We, we have used all of it there, uh, thankfully. I was just about paying enough attention. We've got a key for a checkpoint somewhere. Where is our checkpoint going to be... Uh, now, so this is going to tell us to go... What the hell are we doing here? We're going straight on through all of this. We've got to be careful of the spinning thing over there. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Uh, I think we got out of the way of the... Whatever the path... The, I don't know where it went. I saw it come through. It affected my truck and then vanished. Who knows? Who knows? It's, it is orbiting something in that a direction. Got away with all of that. Oh, I've done a stupid thing on my own. <laughs> I was busy looking around, ready to see what the next thing was. It's maybe just that upshift almost caught me out there. Less than ideal. However, we've made it through for now. What are you going to ask me to do next game? Also, I want to know where the keys are used. Still haven't seen where... I haven't seen where the keys were used. I haven't seen any collectibles. Oh, are we going to have to fight with the rotating thing again as well? Oh, this is the horrible wobbly wobbly path. Uh, boot it and hope, because that's busy rotating over that way. It probably won't get back to us in time. Fortuitous timing for me here. Because I don't think that will actually get round in time to deal any problems. This has maybe got a little bit of a... Oh, what the hell? Uh, vertical hairpins, anyone? I've done these in... Well, I've done these in GTA. I've seen them in remote control car racing. You don't tend to see them in beam very much. Uh, no, almost. Oh, I'm not going to go and get that, am I? Bugger. Hmm. Okay. Do we? It's almost, it's almost like I want to just diagonal this. There we go. Get the, that's the ticket. I know what I'm doing. Almost. Right, and then gears so we don't blow the engine to pieces as we run down. I probably should get on the brakes so we don't crash. We have the key. That's where the keys gets gets used. Uh, the keys, if you can get them, do generally let you shortcut a nasty bit. After a second, I had a horrible feeling that was just not going to let me go through there. Uh, yeah, they can sometimes let you shortcut a nasty bit, or it's just to get the collectibles. Uh, we're getting pulled around. No end here. Oh, please let the truck go. Not into the wall. It's fine. Minor damage, it'll buff out. 
I won't be able to do it, but someone could. Uh, <laughs> where, where are we just going? We're just going to go down here now. Please don't lift my truck up. Ugh, it's fine. I spot a finish line. We at least got a collectible. That's literally it. That's literally it. Oh, I actually went on the brakes because I didn't know, I didn't realise there was a jump there. Thankfully, it was enough. Time, awful. Resets, far too many. However, we did get a collectible. We did unlock a new track. <laughs> As I said, they can get quite tough. I don't know. I think there is a another difficulty level after the expert ones. Insane. There we go. That may well involve... I say it may well involve. I'm half expecting something somewhere to involve the use of, like, jumping a car through different fields to get it to land somewhere. I'm half expecting there will be levels that will ask you to do that, because that would be mean and difficult. I haven't come across those yet. I mean, you saw what that, those previous levels have been like. Uh, sure, let's have a look, see what we are dealing with here. I think will well, this be the final level we'll have a look at. Uh, yeah, I, I fully expect there to be levels, just because that's a different sort of challenge. It'd be, I guess it would be about, like, positioning your car for takeoff. Like, you have to position it perfectly to shoot through a, a gap or something. Right. We have got... At least we have a fast vehicle, so there's a key needed for that gate, uh, which we won't... which we'll get on, I guess, a future lap. Uh, I'm going to want to go over here. Away preferably from that planet. Uh, can we just blast through there? It's going to pick up the back of the car. Oh, it's going to spin the car around. And I don't know if I can get going well enough. Stop lifting my car up. Release the car. It's a K-series. It's going to buckle the wheels. Ooh, it has buckled the wheel. Never mind. Uh, can't do anything about that at the moment. Uh, oh. oh, it's got ESC. That's... No wonder we're really struggling to go anywhere, because that keeps flashing around. Nope, definitely want that off. Don't want the ESC on. That screws up. That has trouble on dirt sometimes, let alone when we're dealing with this sort of stuff. Is that just a drop? It is. Ooh, uh. Um, through the middle of everything. I'm just going to go for it. Go for it and hope. Go for it and hope. I spot a key. Yeah. Well, we got the key. I think if I have to reset, though, we don't get the key. Okay, that was a little bit ambitious by me, I'll say that much. Was a little bit foolish by me, uh, trying to grab the key behind the planet. Uh, there we go. I think we got dropped pretty hard as we got reset there. Uh, oh no, it's the bloody ESC. Why has that come back on again? Go away. Nobody wants that. Oh no, don't go near that. If I don't counter steer, we get turned quite viciously. And that's a lap. As I said, I think I got... We, should, we did have the key, right, game? Thank you. Uh... <laughs> Please open that one. Ah, so that's the strong gravitational field sign. There we go. Uh, probably don't want to drive through it because it's just going to lift us up. Clonk us into a wall. I thought I might be going fast enough to get away with the worst of that. Nope. Nope is the answer to that. Uh, we're just going to drive very brokenly. Ah, oh, there's the collectible. Ugh, turn. Get away. Get away from the planet. And then that's where the normal... You could actually get that collectible without getting the key, but I think it's a slightly faster route. We'll just go back to limping around with a busted car. Again, this is the fun of Beam. You do have to try and deal with cars in this condition when you've made a mistake that's not a reset-worthy mistake. It probably should have been a reset-worthy mistake. Certainly now driving like it could probably do with a reset. Oh, no, I can't steer away from the planet. <laughs> not centers, as you say, in many racing games, but it is an accurate one in this. Uh, are we still driving? Yes. Uh, oh, great sun. If you could please bugger off so I could go past in my poorly, poorly race car. Again, entertaining sentences. It's going to come back. Yeah, we're fine. Uh, now I do kind of need the thing to pull me around the corner. Oh, not that much, though. Too much. I can't fight that. I'm too broken. <laughs> yeah, if you get too broken can't necessarily fight against the uh, strength. It does drop the car from perhaps a little too high a height for this vehicle. Uh, this, this vehicle doesn't like being dropped quite that much, uh, I would potentially say. But never mind. We will get going here. So if we stick... I don't think we want to hit that inner one. I think that's what got me in trouble last time. Yeah. We stick away. If, if I was going quick enough, if my car was working, it probably would have been okay. Um, we, I guess you can only use the shortcut once. Oh, I'm carrying a load of speed through there that I didn't want to. That was silly. I don't know whether it might be the ABS. I think the ABS might be freaking out a little bit because gravity's weird, basically, here. 
no, 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 no. I want to go over here. We're going to just spin around again, aren't we? Come on. Uh, hey, we didn't get picked up. I don't know how, but we didn't get picked up. Oh, we are through that section. That's quite a nasty level. This is a cool level, though. This, it's, I'd say, the right sort of difficulty. It's a good sort of difficulty to show off, uh, to show off the mod, rather than some of the infuriatingly, aggravatingly nasty levels. Oh, there's a gap here. If I can punch through this, perfect. There we go. I've got to try to slow it down, though, for the corner before we carry too much speed and have a very big accident. Um, and there we go. That is the final turn. Don't know whether I, whether I would have done this one in the time limit. We had a couple of good laps, but we also could get a bit stuck at one point. Uh, no. Actually, not quite as much as I would have uh, liked. We did do it in the reset limit, though, which is cool. Yeah, 20, I definitely could do that one in the four minutes. So, the fact, the final lap was only a minute. If we get it right and we don't get lost and we don't get stuck, you know, that would help. So... There we go. That is a look at the uh, gravitational racing mods. Uh, so I'm showing off the middle two difficulty levels. I have no doubt it can get very nasty later on. It's a really interesting little... I say it's a puzzle driving game. It's, it's using... Beam is great for this. We've seen quite a few of these mods uh, come out uh, over, the, over the course of the game. Just these take beam, use it in a slightly different way. And because you have to work with the damage model uh, and so on, it makes driving puzzles that little bit more challenging, maybe a little bit more unique. This is good fun. It might get infuriating at times. I have no doubt on the higher levels it will, but it is a great little, I say distraction, it's great use for, for Beam. So I highly recommend you go and uh, give it a try. I shall put a link to the mod in the description of this video. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.